So we have a bunch of stuff held over from yesterday. And there's some news outside the Ferguson arena that uh, is also noteworthy today. Did you see the, the jobless numbers that have been released today? Yeah, is it fascinating here? Prior to the election, every time unemployment numbers were released, they were, well, indicative of an improving job market on the surface. And the unemployment rate was dropping by tenths of a percentage point on schedule right before the election. And it was all part of the illusion being created that the economy finally maybe had bottomed out and finally maybe was beginning to really recover. And now the first jobs report post-election, and it's a ho-hummer. You have to look really hard to find this. I mean, it's out there, but it's not the lead item anywhere. Applications for jobless aid jump to 313,000. That's up from a hundred and some odd thousand last month. The number of people seeking U.S. unemployment benefits jumped last week, pushing total applications above 300,000 for the first time in nearly three months. Isn't it amazing how that happens? Isn't it stunning? What is it about the election? What is it about the month of November that causes this to happen? Every time we have a Democrat president, weekly applications rose 21,000 to a seasonally adjusted 313,000, according to the Labor Department, the highest level since the first week of September. The first week of September is the traditional beginning of the campaign season. Right on schedule. 